Hey guys, today we're going to grab one of the 2020 MacBook Air, bring it to the side right here, uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade it to Sequoia, which is the latest Mac OS. So we're going to log in, start, and then we will finish. Okay, so we just went to software update, and now we're getting the upgrade. So let's go ahead and get it started. And uh, once completed, I will uh, test Serato. Our upgrade has been completed. So now we're gonna log in. So basically this is a fresh, clean install. And um, we're just gonna download Serato and then uh, install it. Okay, download is completed. We're gonna go to an install real quick. So here we go. We're uh, gonna install Serato. Here we go. Uh, we're gonna tell that install complete. But in the meantime, I just wanna show you guys. This is a 2020 MacBook Air and it says right here, Mac OS Sequoia 15. So right there you could tell that we're running Sequoia. Okay, let this install run. Wow, it says nine minutes. Okay, down to five. Should be a little quicker, but um, this is a MacBook Air. MacBook Air are not that fast. And I usually don't recommend them for DJing. If you're gonna DJ, I recommend one of these pros. MacBook Pro, big ones. All right, two minutes ago. A minute. And it's almost there. By the way, we're going to use the Rev 7 for our test. So what I'm going to be doing right now is taking the USB from the Rev 7. And we're not going to connect it yet, but... Let's go ahead and uh, fire up Serato. I'm gonna keep it. Serato's right here. I got installed. They actually placed it on my toolbar here. And um, let's wait for it to come up. And we'll see if it works. Okay. Okay, so I need some permissions. I'm gonna say allow. Let's make the screen a little brighter. Also, it wants to allow, 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 network, local network, all of this. I'm going to say sign in later. Um, I'm not going to sign in right now. Same thing down here. And I am going to drag one song that I have into Serato. I'm just going to put it anywhere here. There you go, allow. So literally everything you do has to be allowed. Song has been added. Okay. Now is the moment where we're going to go ahead and install the driver. So let's plug and turn on our controller. Rev7 has been turned on. And I should get a pop-up for installing the audio driver. So far, it has not come up. We're going to give it another minute. Yep, there you go. So that's our Rev 7. But look, it already noticed it. So without even installing the drivers, it popped up. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, follow through with this install. But yes, it definitely popped up. All right, password. So this, guys, kind of shows you that this Sequoia works. It's working, it's working great so far. I'm actually going to load in the drivers for the Sequoia. So let's just go ahead and go to application folder. We're going to look for the Pioneer folder in here. I don't see Pioneer. Oh, there it goes right here. So Pioneer, Rev7, and I'm going to run this utility app here. Usually when you run the utility app, it gives you this here, your controls on your deck. A lot of times if you don't run the utility driver, you don't get that information. 
So yes, utility driver, everything looks good. FX banks, preference, everything is default. I don't have to touch nothing here. I'm just gonna minimize it. Close all this. Uh, but it actually wants some additional uh, permissions. Let's let's just check. Actually, no. We are good with our permissions. Uh, it just says it's it needs it during logon. Okay, so we are all set, guys. Uh, right now, it's just a matter of uh, playing the music. But I'm going to be using the laptop speaker. So let me go ahead and enable that. So let's go to audio. I'm going to say use laptop speakers. Also, I'm going to adjust latency, put it right in the middle. And... That should be good. Okay, song is loaded. And let's go ahead and hit play here. Or let me hit Q first. Get the volume up. Master, master, everything's up. These are very high. I don't know who was touching this, but we're gonna keep them all keep them all in the middle. And let's hit play. Okay, I hear sound. I'm gonna put the volume up. You hear that? So the audio that I have is just a uh, hammer purge. Yep. So yes, it is working. So yes, it does work. I do have a little notice here in the bottom. So yeah, it says still connecting, but the thing is, we installed the drivers and we didn't do nothing else. So usually, after you install the driver, you want to turn it off and turn it back on. So we're going to do that. That's the proper way after you install drivers. Is to turn it off and turn it back on. So we're going to wait for that message to disappear. It's still there. Um, it should go away. So that could be one of the weirdness. Uh, let me quit Serato. And then we open it up again. And we'll see if that is still there. But otherwise, guys, it's working. Um, if you do upgrade to Sequoia by accident or, you know, whatever, you have it on a computer and you are afraid to use it, uh, this, this would be the test. I can't tell you if it'll perform all night, but so far, it seems to be handling good okay right now looking for the itunes library doesn't have one so we're going to turn the power on the rep 7 again and now we're going to watch it and see what it does hopefully there's no more uh warnings in the bottom let me close this i'm not going to sign in okay it's looking up the rep 7 yep came up yes guys this looks good and i can load up this song on both sides and also put it in my favorite position, which is vertical. Usually that's how I like my tracks. Play. So guys, it does work. 